Hey everybody, this is John from Fluid, and I'm super excited to show you some of the new stuff we've added to the app, specifically around the multiplayer experience, which has, let's be honest, not been that great in Fluid. Um, we used to have to have a, a a browser window in the cloud rendering the the, 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 the the cloud browser, so you'd have to sign in every single time you do it, and then when you'd kill that session, it would log you out of everything, and it wasn't a good experience. Um, and so we've been working super hard to add just true headset to headset shared rendering so that a browser window in your headset can be visible to somebody else in their headset without any external PC or any cloud PC involved. So yeah, let me just go ahead and show you that. So this is our home theater environment um, that you're probably familiar with in Fluid. We added it a few months ago. Uh, this smart TV we added a few months ago. Um, and this is the dock. So the dock here is kind of how you control Fluid. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Rooms tab of the dock. And you can see here, we've added a, a slightly different um, UI for this, where rooms that you've recently used, so these are private rooms, kind of multiplayer sessions, uh, you can enter a code here and create a room or join an existing one. I'm going to go ahead and join Hang with where a couple of my friends are. So I'm joining this room, and it should just pop me into it just in a bit. Or yeah, you'd cool. have to hook it up to a computer. Hey, hey guys. Hey, John. Hey, John. How's it going? So these are my buddies. Uh, this is Rob, who also works on Fluid with me. And this is Richard. Hello. And uh, we are here in a multiplayer room. And this is uh, where <laughs> I, I get to show you all the new stuff. All right. All right. So I've got our list of videos here. And right now, I'm not sharing. I'm going to open this one, for example. And I'll pause it I'm real quick. apologize right now. And then I'm going to go over to this panel and click Start Sharing Screen. And now this screen is actually going to be sent to these guys and they can see the, the video that I'm seeing. They can hear it. And if I play it to everyone who sees go this, full screen, for not playing this game, we can sit only. back and just enjoy this. What does that mean? Blow only All right. So that's a demo of us, of me streaming. Of a VR so I'm going to stop my share. I'm going to pause. Mode, enemies can hear your voice. And uh, Rob, if you can start a share. Yep. So I'm going to go back home to my, my home menu. So Rob, if you can start a share, I'm going to show some of the controls that we've added. So can you pull up like a 3D video on YouTube? Yes. Search like 3D SBS. Oh, 3D. Nice. All right, so I'm watching Rob's stream, so I can see, you know, his username. And if I wanted to change the volume of the stream for whatever reason, I can do that with this menu here. So maybe 80% there. He's going to put on some 3D footage and Lighting on a reality show to the cheers of trillions. So when now, see everything you're clicking this is here. SBS video. This is 3D video. So if I just go to 3D, left, right, half, I am now watching the video that he's streaming in stereoscopic 3D. So it's hard to see on YouTube video. Like, you don't see the 3D here. But for me, this looks 3D. And this is one of my favorite features of this, that you can stream 3D video. Um, this is a bit loud. Let me turn this down. Oh, wow. You just put up so I can change the volume yeah. of his stream here. So, you know, since I'm docking, I don't want the music to cover it. But in this menu, I selected the left, right half. And this video is SBS video on YouTube. And I can see it in full 3D. And it's being streamed to me from his headset. <laughs> so I think this is super cool. I think this is going to open up a whole new way of uh, watching content in immersive environments in across distances. Like none of us are within like 10 miles of each other right now. And we're all watching something together, and it was very painless to do that. You can just put a headset on, put something on, and watch it together. You can also use this to collaborate. So if you have Google Workspace or something in a browser window, let me go ahead and show you like what that that kind of workflow looks like. So Rob, go ahead and stop streaming. All right. All right. So I'm going to open my doc. So Fluid. Oh, I have us in 3D mode still. <laughs> okay. So Fluid is actually an app that does way more too. So if I open something like. Um, let me open Google Sheets, and I might have to log in here. Um, you can see I'm in. I, I'm turning my pass through on now, so these guys are still here with me, and I have a virtual uh, TV there. So let me just log into my email really quick. 
All right, so I have Google Sheets here. Um, these are some like examples. I don't know, uh, like weekly timesheet or something. This isn't like a real, a real thing. So no real data here. Nothing um, sensitive. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pass through. I just want to show you that you could use this, but pass through and streaming and recording is a little bit heavy on my headset right now, so I'm gonna turn it off. Um, okay, so here's my. Uh, like window. And let's say that I wanted to share this this document with these guys. So what I can go here is I can go up to the three dot menu right here. And I can just hit cast. And so now my window is mirrored between the smart TV and uh, my my screen right here. And then because the smart TV has this this screen sharing function, I can just hit start screen share. And now these guys will see what I'm seeing. Um, so yeah, like this is super useful if you wanted to like do a presentation with a few people in VR or this, uh, I have my light spill all the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn also, that off. That's like killing me. I can also turn on my cursor so I can say, oh, I think that this value oh, wow. is incorrect. Sounds yeah. Weird. So I can, I can this see, I can see his cursor. Um, it's a little bit hard. Let me see if I can turn like dark mode or something on. Yeah, the white the white background is yeah. To see. <laughs> um, it's so immersive. You know what I can do is I can just select this whole document and I can there change. We go. I see the light. The background to like a gray. There you go. <laughs> yep. So I can say, oh, September seventh. This five five point five feels wrong right here. Let's let's review that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right now we don't allow other people to do mouse input. So you can see their cursor, but they can't interact with your windows. That's just that's just you. Um, we might add this in the future. We uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on this and see what you like. Um, but yeah, we hope you find this this feature useful. Um, you should be able to share your documents, watch local videos together, watch content that you know on like somebody playing Xbox uh, cloud gaming and be able to watch and play together. Um, I could actually be playing Xbox in my own window while he was playing his on the smart TV. So you can kind of do like a couch co-op sort of feel vibe. Right now, we only allow one person to stream at a time, but that might change in the future. Um, we're just keeping working on the technology. But we hope that you've enjoyed this uh, this tour of some of the new stuff um, in the app that we added. Uh, and so, yeah. Thanks, everybody. This has been John and Rob and Richard. See ya. Thank you. See you in Fluid, guys. Bye.